So I finally get to talk about this. Um, there you go. That is exactly what you are getting when you buy the expansion pass for Breath of the Wild. And this is available for both the Wii U version and Switch version. All of it is the same content. Now, I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. And my thoughts also on the criticism and backlash for this because... Honestly, it's really, really ridiculous. I want to hear your guys' thoughts, too. Why, if, if, you, if you like the expansion pass, why? And if you dislike it, tell me why as well. Um, to be completely honest, I mean, let's be real. Do I like DLC 100%? No, because, yes, it's like I do feel like I paid full price for the game. I'd like to not pay any more for the game. But at the same time, if the game is already complete and you're just expanding on it to begin with later on down the road, you know, that's one of the benefits of the digital age. And I like that. If this was day one content, which for the most part it's not. They're giving you a couple of extra treasure chests, you know, whoop dee ding ding do. But the bulk of it is the actual DLC packs. They're, they work like expansions. They're not coming out till later. They're not even developed yet. That's a thing. We know Breath of the Wild, the full game, has gone gold for quite a few weeks now. Hell, we probably... The bulk of the game was pretty much finished last year. They were just basically fine-tuning it and especially optimizing it for the Switch and everything. Um, I mean, that was the main reason it got delayed was because they wanted it for the Switch's launch. And that gave him a chance to, to opti optimize it and optimize the engine and stuff. But the bulk of the game, the actual content, the story, the game world, characters, uh, you know, weapons, items, dungeons, all that stuff was already, already done. So what you really think about it is, we're going to get this game on March 3rd alongside the Switch. Um, and it's also going to come out for Wii U as well. So Wii U owners and brand new Switch owners could be able to get the game at launch and right at the beginning of March and play it for hundreds of hours all throughout March, April, May, whatever. Um, you know, put it aside for Mario Kart and ARMS and Splatoon and other stuff. Uh, but then the summer we get to come back to it for challenges like the new Cave of Trials, the new hard mode and the, and the additional map feature. Then, you know, more games come out like Splatoon 2 and Fire Emblem Warriors and such and such. Then we get to come back to Zelda again in the holiday for the actual brand new expansion of the story with a new dungeon and new quests and everything. That's amazing. It's following the mold of games such as Bloodborne and The Witcher 3 and so on and so forth. Uh, like The Witcher 3 had its Blood and Wine DLC. Um, and then also you got to think of other stuff like Last of Us had the Left Behind DLC. Uncharted 4 is getting... Um, the Lost Legacy, and um, that's that's very similar to this. Um, and again, like I said, this isn't cut content. It's not content we're getting on the first day that you have to pay more on on top of your additional sixty dollars. No, it's not that. And that's what I I don't think people realize that. It's it's an it's an expansion pass. It's it's basically it gives you a pass. You can buy it now. So that way you will have the expansion all set to go once it comes out. It's not a traditional season pass. Um, if it was, it would have functioned differently and it would have been worded as a season pass. I think people see it as expansion pass and everyone using the word season pass and they get scared. It's not a season pass, so to speak. It's more or less like an expansion like The Witcher had, but it's giving you the option to pre-order it now. And I think that's what people do not realize. You can still pay that $20 now. You can pay it five years from now and still get the same content. It's just giving you a choice. You don't have to wait until the content comes out. Um, I mean, and a lot of people are saying they should have waited to talk about it. And I mean, yeah, I, I guess I understand that. But to be honest, we're two weeks away from the Switch and from Zelda launching. So we already know the game is finished. I mean, if it's common sense. Two weeks, right now, they're prepping the copies and shipping them to retailers as we speak. You know what I mean. So the game's been finished for a while. So any chance of this being cut content, like I said, doesn't make any sense. If it was cut content, it, it would have been all accessible there day one on March 3rd, which is not. 
So, yeah. You also got to think for a game as massive as Zelda, uh, Breath of the Wild, and it's the biggest game Nintendo's ever made. Their biggest development team, they had like something over like 200, 300 people working on it, including people from Monolith Soft. Um, so you got to think, in order to in order to make DLC with this game, you're still going to need to keep a chunk of that team still going throughout the year developing it. And those people have to get paid, and you got to have to pay for resources and funding for that. So $20 for all of this, to me, it seems reasonable. We're getting a lot for $20. So I'm all for it. And like I said, it's going to be there for both uh, Wii U and Switch owners. The only thing I would change about it, the only thing personally, and I know this is something I've been saying for a while, but I wish there was cross buy. That's the only thing. I wish that if you own both copies, Wii U and Switch, that you buy the DLC once, it'll work for both with your Nintendo account. That's only only thing I wish would happen, but that's not going to happen. And honestly, I can see why they're not doing that either, because let's be honest, how many people are going to buy both copies of the game besides myself? Only the hardcore of the hardcore Zelda fans are going to buy both copies. So, I mean, it's nothing really to complain about, you know? So... Zelda DLC, I'm I'm for it. Now, one more issue that I keep seeing with Zelda is this. And that's when Onuma confirmed, this is actually a couple weeks back, this is actually towards the end of January, he confirmed that the Japanese voices you saw in the Nintendo Experience, um, not Experience, the Switch Experience um, presentation or whatever, the Japanese dub is not going to be selectable with English subtitles. They did confirm you can switch your system's regional settings to Japanese and play the game with that. The audio files are there, but you're going to have Japanese um, language there instead of English subtitles, so you're not going to be able to read anything unless you're fluent in both. So I guess my thing is I've seen the English voices, I've seen the Japanese voices, they're both good. I prefer the English personally. Um, I've always been of the fact that like I I don't mind subbed. I I, I watch some I watch some subbed anime. Um, I've seen Japanese voices in quite a few games. Tokyo Mirage Sessions being you know the um, most recent case. But if I have an option for watching or playing something in my language that I speak, because I'm an English speaker, I don't really speak any other any other language. Um, that's just what I go with, just because it's more familiar to me. And I understand not everyone else is 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 on board with that. I know a lot of people do just prefer the Japanese, and that's cool. That's very cool. But it's such a moot point, especially when this is the first Zelda that's going to have voice acting, and the voice acting they confirmed is already in the is only in the cutscenes. It's not going to be every time you speak to a character. And they also confirmed Link does not speak still. Thank God for that. Because that's that would have been um, pretty 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 terrible, but me personally, Zelda has never been a voice acting game. I I think the voice work they're doing is 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 great so far on both sides of the water. Um, but if the voices if the voice acting wasn't there to begin with, I it wouldn't change my mind about the game. The game is going to be re fun regardless. It's not about the voices. It's about that open world. It's about the story, and you know exploring it's it's about it's about being link in this huge vast new version of a ruined hyrule and fighting a battle that's been hundreds of years in the making that's what the game's about the game is not about voice acting um so when i see petitions like this on uh change.org add japanese voice acting is zelda breath of the wild western release let us choose different dubs in the new zelda and Nintendo allows switchable language audio and Zelda Breath of the Wild for Nintendo Switch. When I see things like this, I think it's a bit ridiculous, especially this one. This one it needs 2,500, and they already have t over 2,300. They're very close to their goal, but it's just like like this. At the very bottom of it, it says, So Nintendo, I ask of you to please add the voice option in the game so fans can buy the game when it's released without any disappointment. I gotta be honest. I can appreciate people preferring, you know what they prefer you know that's cool it's your opinion but for a series that has never been big on voice acting to begin with when it's been about so many other factors because the minimal voice work that's already in the game 
doesn't have the option you want, that's going to make the entire game, the entire game with the 360 square kilometer Hyrule that you can explore, that's going to take you so many hours to explore and complete everything. Just because those couple cutscenes are locked in English, it's going to make the game disappointing to you. That, I, I think you need to get your priorities more in order when it comes to playing a video game. That that's that's just me. I can appreciate, like I said, different opinions. I know that some people prefer the Japanese, but to say that that is going to make you disappointed in the game, it it just sounds ridiculous to me. So that that's all I gotta say. We're two weeks away, Breath of the Wild. It's gonna be great. I cannot wait. I'm so soaked. Every day I'm just every day I'm counting down. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this. And uh, as always, I will catch you later.